Hey guys, Father and Son Adventures of Iowa. I'm Tim. Tyler's with the rest of his family. So, I just want to throw up a quick video about gear overload, lack of organization, time to work with everything because the weather's not cooperating. I'm going to just make a little bit of coffee here. Anyway, uh, Tyler and I got out on a day hike last week, and we kind of left our gear haphazardly organized here. Um, <clears throat> but what we decided we wanted to try to do is organize between day hike and multi-day hike, or overnight, or whatever and so then it became evident that we'd have to come up with a pretty good list of like an inventory so you could decide what do you need on your day hike are you going to go fishing or are you just are you just going to go out in the woods and you know cook with wood or cook with gas or alcohol or whatever and uh, I like to for overnight I like to take a shovel uh, this is my my attempt at a uh, <coughs> sheath for this thing just a PVC sheath painted in camo uh, we also worked on a sheath for the axe and uh, sharpened up the the blade get ready for our overnight stuff but you're not going to take all this stuff for a regular day hike and uh, so we have a, we have a hatchet we have an axe we have mini shovels for digging your cat holes uh, I got some thinner PVC and worked on a uh, my my first attempt at making a sheath you know the details of the contour of how that stuff works when you heat this up it's pretty cool um, little belt loop here for the first time I ever did it uh, I was pretty happy I used several of my power tools a uh, belt sander to kind of finish the shape and a jigsaw to kind of um, get it roughed down and a sawzall to actually cut the pipe but uh, it's just a butcher knife from the kitchen, you know, from years ago. Just stainless steel. It doesn't hold much of a an edge, but anyway, that's kind of cool. And then this is the sim similar thing with the uh, just a little Coleman folder saw. Uh, I like the way that. This one turned out, it really has a nice fit. Uh, both of them have a really nice fit, actually. Uh, I think I'm, I, I did drill another hole here, but there's not, there's way too much tension on it if I put a bolt through there. So I really think I'm just gonna put some cord, that's gonna be my starting hole for some cordage. Just wrap this up to make it look kind of decent. But, so then we've got, day pack here, that's Tyler's day pack. Mine's kind of buried. I, I keep stuff in a duffel sack, duffel bags. Like that's, that's uh, sleeping bags so they don't get all scrunched up. I don't, I don't compress anything. Uh, did get these. I'll throw a picture up there, kind of showing a little better picture of them, but these are the Molly 2 ACU uh, rucksacks. This is a heck of a piece of gear, man. And I got these off of eBay for very little money. And uh, they both came with, we got two of them. They both came with uh, sustainment pouches. 
can't wait to start using them. That'll be fun. But yeah, gear overload. Jeez. Every hobby has its costs. I'm getting a good boil here on the water too. Every hobby has its costs. I know my buddy Shane Coffee and Steve Cruson, the outdoor adventure junkie. They have uh, guys. It's an obsession, okay, with wood stoves. To me, this is well worth the wait because I got water boiling in a minute and a half, two minutes, three minutes, whatever this is. And uh, but that's the cool thing about about this uh, community. Everybody puts up videos of what they're interested in. And there's nothing wrong with what they do. It's what they are really... Steve, uh, excuse me, uh, Shane, you got a lot of stoves. Anyway, uh, but it's just cool to see that, you know, you can do whatever you want. You know, you can spend as much or as little money on gear and still get out and have fun. One of the cool things is the is the different hobbies just just speaking just for our channel Tyler and myself the hobbies that we have combined in our channel are um, hiking uh, camping bushcrafting photography I, I usually show a lot of pictures in my longer videos of nature and stuff because Years ago, I had a dark room, and with the advent of the last 25 years of digital cameras and and everything, you know, you, it's it's in ca computers. It's so much easier just to uh, do it all on the computer with great results and virtually no cost, other than the initial investment on camera or video or equipment. Um, and I don't, I don't have a very expensive uh, gear. My camera is just a little Canon Elf 115. Uh, when I was looking for, uh, I was looking at the actual video cameras with the slide out screen and everything, and with a selfie stick, and the uh, the actual uh, size of this this lens. Um, I don't know what I can't remember what they call it, but the the depth of view or the the width, the wide view that you get, you're always in with a selfie stick. You're always in frame at that distance, and um, it's got like an eight time zoom. And anyway, it, it suffices. And the video is HD. It's 720 HD, and it's you know it it, it meets all my needs. Some of the video that I put up is actually just with my cell phone. Um, because that's 1080p, but... Anyway, I'm looking for a spoon, guys. Sorry. And, um... So you don't need to spend three, four hundred dollars on camera. This camera is less than a hundred on sale at Best Buy. It's probably a year and a half ago I bought it and I'm very happy with it. Um, anyway, I'm starting to ramble. Guys, um, gear overload. If it's still cold, get out, try to get organized, um, get ready for the season. We can't wait for it to finally you know the lows to be 45 or whatever so we can go camping i'm not a cold weather camper so anyway guys uh thanks for sticking with me on this little video and we'll talk to you soon